Metrics That Matter. Measuring Impact and ROI in Influencer Marketing. So my name is uh, Florin Simovic. I'm the co-founder of Traffic Manager. We provide affiliate tracking software for many industries, including uh, this one. <laughs> I cannot mention on the stage. Uh, 15 years of experience in affiliate marketing, starting in around 2008 as an affiliate, former super affiliate. I was generating traffic in many verticals before. Then I set uh, uh, I set up a network myself. This is how actually we start building Traffic Manager. Since 2016, basically, we become technology provider for many, many industries. And yeah, soon to be married to a fitness influencer, uh, more than almost 500,000 followers, mostly women. Um, I know, I don't really look like a guy which should just marry an influencer, um, a fitness influencer, actually. Uh, okay, what's Traffic Manager and how does it relate to influencer marketing? So many of our clients have affiliate networks and affiliate programs. They work with many influencers. So this drives us to the path of building tools for them to track and optimize their profits regarding this specific industry. So as I said before, our clients frequently use influencers for promoting their, uh, their services. So today, we'll discuss some essential metrics we usually um, tackle with them. Top five metrics, in my opinion, when you do influencer marketing, the engagement rate, number one, reach uh, and impressions, click-through rate, conversion rate, and cost per engagement. And we will talk briefly about each of them. The engagement rate basically measures how active the audience of your influencer interact with the specific post. So, Basically, if you will reach someone which is doing sport, it's like covering soccer or whatever, and you are promoting a beauty saloon, most probably that will not end very well. So that's the first metric. You need to see the engagement um, and how, your, um, how the post he's promoting for you or the video, it's actually um, working. So, Reach an impression, here the difference is uh, <clears throat> basically is the difference between views and actual clicks on your landing page. Uh, basically, it also reveals how active the influencer is involving its community in reaching you out. It's not just a passive video or story or whatever, he just, when he puts some more, some more, uh, more effort into that, you will have more uh, impressions or clicks on your landing page. Click-through rate actually, uh, no, sorry. Yeah, click-through rate are the clicks that goes to your landing page. Sorry, I, I, I did a mistake before. So here is how you see actually the interaction of the influencer post with, your, with this public and how, uh, how, quality, how much quality is in that traffic for you. Conversion rate, of course, more clicks doesn't mean more conversions, uh, doesn't mean more sales. You need to have also some signups or sales to drive your ROI and uh, have a positive one. Cost per engagement, you should know how much a like costs you from this influencer, how much a share, how much a comment. It's a sort of uh, measuring exactly the efficiency of its post. However, there is a tricky part here. They could buy that. So it's a metric just for you to understand how good is that traffic for you, but it's not something you could trust. In optimization, the three metrics, in my opinion, worth mentioning are these three. Click-through rate, conversion rate, and earnings per click. Click-through rate, as we said before, compares the effectiveness of two different campaigns, and we can focus uh, our efforts to, towards the one that is bringing us more clicks. But this doesn't mean that it's bringing us more sales. So we go to the conversion rate. As we said before, more clicks doesn't mean necessarily more conversion. So we need, but we need these in order to uh, quantify how much of a return of our investment comes out of this campaign. Earnings per click. I don't know how many of you guys heard of it. In normal affiliate marketing, this is a, a default metric. It's kind of a, 
it calculates the money you earn per each 1,000 clicks for a specific advertising campaigns, campaign. It is crucial for your campaign optimization. Many of our clients in this industry don't use it. I don't know why. I always teach them how to read this metric because actually earning per click, it's a sort of a way to predict the future of a specific campaign with great accuracy. And I will show you some examples. Here we have two different uh, print screens from our demo. Uh, don't look at the final numbers, obviously, they're just fake numbers. So, But I want you to understand the importance of this specific metric. Basically, as you can see, you can look landing page one, landing page two. You could just imagine that it's a different influencer which you are working with. And as you can see, each of them brought a different amount of clicks. Okay, so any person will look at the first image, the red, the red one, and you would say, okay, this one brought me more money, so I will push more traffic into it. However, it's wrong. If you look at the EPC, you will see, and that's the second image over there, that that guy has actually a lower APC than the first one, which we just started with. We have just a few clicks from him, but his APC is, APC is 0 0.57, which is almost double the one above. So this tool already to tells, tells us, this metric, that that influencer will, be way, uh, will perform way better than the other one. And this is used in affiliate marketing to split test to split test the efficiency of a campaign, of a landing page, of an influencer, wh whatever you want to name as a traffic source. So now, look how does it look, uh, look how, how, uh, how are the statistics looking without this metric. This is what most of our clients are looking into their dashboard. And I always reach them about this and tell them, guys, without this metric, you cannot predict what it will happen. You will just throw money away. And yeah, it's a lot of education over there. I don't know how many of you guys are using this. You, if you are not, you should dig further because it's a very important metric and your tracking solution should have it. Common mistakes we see uh, within our clients again. Too much like an advertising. Many of them are like posting with those kind of guys which are making it really obvious that they advertise something and they push that uh, uh, a lot of products and companies that their public is not really interested anymore. They are using, okay, another product from this guy, whatever. Uh, same style for everyone. They don't personalize the influencer, the user journey in this traffic funnel. So they push the same landing page to all the influencer, the same uh, message is boring, for the public is boring. At a certain point it becomes, uh, they recognize it again, that it, that's uh, an advert, an ad, too quickly and the conversion rate will drop. And then outdated tracking methods. And we will uh, go through this really quickly. Like I said, too much like an ad, they don't look, the content that they post doesn't uh, looks too much like an ad. And here, I don't know how many of you guys have heard about native advertising. Native advertising in affiliate marketing is quite common right now. And basically, it represents a post or a video which is hidden between normal articles. So the click-through rate to this and the public coming there is quite qualified. They don't understand right away that it's an ad until the end of the landing page. But that's already a lot. This is what I always suggest to our clients to do. Guys, we should act like and uh, uh, create content that can be pushed like a native ad. Same style for everyone, as I said, they don't personalize the landing pages. They don't do A, B tests. They don't, they just push all the traffic in one landing page. Not everybody, 90% of them, but this is a common mistake we see. So you should try different approaches, different landing pages, different uh, marketing messages, uh, hooks, like we call them. Okay, titles, always A, B test, always A, B test. This is what I always tell everyone. A, B test, A, B test, A, B test, that's the basic of uh, optimizing, in optimization. Pro tip, when you need to personalize the aspect of your landing page, ask the influencer. You don't know his public. Surprise, he does it. He knows exactly what the public likes. He knows exactly where the public will convert better. If you go and just push a random landing page to everyone, and you force him and you pay him maybe, I don't know, 10 grand to publish a video, to make a story, you don't know if that will convert. 
he knows. If you ask him, he will tell you, look, in my opinion, my, my public will convert if you have these elements on your landing page or if the landing page is made in this way. Ask them, don't be shy, you are paying them, okay? Always A-B test, also here, coming back, uh, coming back to that. They will bring you the traffic, but it's your job to qualify it. So a story doesn't qualify the traffic, a story brings you the traffic. Is there good in click bytes? They will bring you a lot of traffic. You need to qualify it on the landing page, A-B test, split always. Outdated tracking methods. What I mean here, most of our clients are still relying on the famous old promo tools, uh, promo codes, sorry. So when you engage with an influencer, okay, Adrian, whatever, use this promo code and bring your traffic. Most of, uh, many of uh, its users will access directly the landing page without even using the promo code. They will just go around and see whatever. Let's see, I will not uh, do any action. I will just want to register to see what's happening. Maybe later they will convert. He's, if you work with them on a commission base, they will lose that revenue. They will not be happy. Their EPC in that case, their APC will be low. Their earnings will be lower. If your competitors do that and you have better tracking methods, you have an advantage in front of them. As an example, some time ago we have developed for our clients direct tracking methods. So basically you can assign a specific domain to an influencer, something which is really easy to remember for its public. You, he can name that domain as he wants. It's, let's say, a sort of a, a shortener on steroids. Okay, they can choose whatever domain they want. Easy to remember for their audience, doesn't matter the language, and they can speak it while they are doing a live video in a TikTok. It's easier, and you can track everything, okay? It's not only the promo code, add this promo code. Just visit this web website or put it somewhere in the back. You can also track with this solution. You can track pretty much everything. This com came also initially as a request from a person promoting uh, content through Spotify songs to us. So they came to us and said, we need a way to track inside the songs, inside video, videos. And actually this is a really cool way you could track also from TV shows, like I said, Spotify so shows, or even billboards on the street. If you put a separate domain for your uh, domain name, easy to remember, easy to type, you know what this billboard brought you as, as traffic. You know how effective it is. Again, A-B testing, okay? Like I said, you can track billboards. Uh, 15 years in affiliate marketing also made me write a book. Uh, it will be pu published in a hard copy in a couple of months from now. You can scan the PDF if you want to uh, uh, basically receive a notification when I will launch it. It would be on how to launch and manage an affiliate network or affiliate program from scratch. Also, if you want to scan, the, to, to download this PDF, if it helps you, please feel free you can scan that, uh, <clears throat> that QR code and download it right away. Then we can connect on social media. This is my link tree. Me and my partner Francesco are also exhibiting. We are on that side, traffic manager booth 47 BR near the uh, media VIP lounge. And thank you for being with me and I hope that uh, all the information I provided was, uh, it would be useful for you guys and help you in your Journey. Thank you. Thank you so much, Florin.